Hey guys, Thunder E here, and we're talking about best smartwatches in 2019. And I think I've got a selection of smartwatches I think will fit you quite well. So let's jump in and take a look. So my very first smartwatch is the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2. Now the Watch Active 2 is so much more improved, great battery life, about three and a half days in terms of functionality, which of course includes working out with the heart rate monitor and also having an always on display. I like using this watch to work out. It's a great watch. Uh, the activities for working out is pretty easy to navigate to. The lack of a actual mechanical dial is not missed here because the digital dial works really well. I do like what it does. And I have to say though, Samsung Pay built in, this is a solid smartwatch and probably one of the best in the Android ecosystem. Now, a second watch here is the Puma smartwatch. This is one that is purely fitness focused. Now it is running Wear OS and is using, of course, a Snapdragon Wear uh, processor uh, from Qualcomm. And this thing is focused on fitness, super, super light. It does have a 24 hour battery life. Now, I will pass this over to Board Femme because she spent more time with this watch than I have and she'll give you her thoughts. Hey everybody, it's Board Femme and what do I think about the Puma smartwatch? Well, as you can see, I got it in the fizzy yellow, which I love. It's a nice, very sporty color combination. I need a little kickstart and kick in the pants, but it was a nice change for my rose gold. So thumbs up on the color combinations. Um, the, the, the weight of it is really a differentiating factor because it's very lightweight. So that is probably one of the biggest points and I did fall asleep with it on last night. Let's see, well, it's a sports watch, right? Well, you don't have everything in the world thrown into it. It's not supposed to be your entire organizer. So they did change up what you are going to put, what is already loaded onto it as far as capability. So it's sports themed. So you've got Pure Track for uh, Puma Track for you know your activities. You have Wear OS and Google Fit. So you know I'm I'm really actually taking a good hard look at my heart points. So it's been very very helpful, and that's really the first time I've dove into Wear OS by Google. And you know it's it's a great price. It's two seventy five, and it's supposed to be um, ready and you know available on November fourteenth. So I think for the holidays, it's going to be a great gift idea. So definitely check it out. Thumbs up from Board Fam. Bye. Now, there are a few other smartwatches that I haven't tried, but I do have friends who have. I'm talking about my buddy, a JV Tech T, uh, of course, Jaime from Pocket Now, and Issa, uh, to give you their thoughts on a couple of smartwatches I think you guys should take a look at. The TicWatch Pro 4G LTE edition in this case does have a lot of features that make it a compelling smartwatch, but to be honest, the main reason why I would recommend this watch is because of its battery life. The reason why it has good battery life is because there's a second screen on there. It looks a little bit like an old school Casio watch. It's a layer on top of the actual Wear OS full touchscreen that you can use whenever you need it. Now, let me give you a tip. Use the secondary screen as much as possible. Don't even have the watch come up and wake up when you bring your wrist up or anything like that. If you want to get the best battery life out of it, use the secondary screen as much as possible and only use Wear OS whenever you need to. On top of all of that, you do get IP68 uh, resistance for dust and water resistance. You also get the 4G LTE capabilities, which allow it to be kind of like a smartphone on your wrist. So if you do want to leave your smartphone at home, you can just take calls using the watch. Also, you can connect Bluetooth earphones to it. So if you want to do those calls or to listen to some media via the watch, you could do that as well. On top of all of that, it's just a really sleek watch considering everything that it's able to do. So the Fitbit Versa 2, aside from the fact that it looks still very, very cute with yummy colors like pink, it still has really nice strap options plus a bitmoji watch face this new versa is actually the most improved from all the fitbit smart watches it has now an amoled display it has sleep tracking it has voice integration what more can you look for in a sub 200 dollar smart watch so what is my favorite smart watch i have to say that i've literally tried everything like no joke i have absolutely every single watch that's launched this year and uh for me, it's Apple Watch Series 5. It doesn't have the battery life of Series 3, but it has the functionality of Series 4. Sure, you have an always-on display, which sadly only means less battery life. It, I feel, doesn't end the day as Series 4 or 3 did, 
but still the added functionality is just hard to find. It takes fitness seriously, which I feel that most watches don't necessarily get it right. And by the way, my previous fitness watch was a Garmin Phoenix 5, so it's not like if I haven't tried the best of the best. And yet the Apple Watch is that watch where if I wanna go start a run, I don't even have to wait for the GPS to lock or anything. It just automatically does it somehow. It always gets it right. If I'm spinning, for example, I don't have to worry about my calorie count not working. It'll probably take it 30 seconds then it locks on and continues. And it's just the whole functionality of the watch phases. For example, the fact that uh, uh, the Meridian watch phase and others will give you so much information in just one watch phase. And even if you do have the option to be able to do that on Wear OS, the problem is that these modular smart watch phases are not necessarily as customizable as what you get from the complications on Apple Watch, period. I highly do recommend it. And finally, this last watch is not a traditional smartwatch. This is a hybrid smartwatch from Chrono-V. Now, this watch, I've actually been using it since last year. Why I have this on the list is because number one, it has a two year battery life. I've been using it for a year plus now, and I haven't needed to change the battery, and it does have some smart functionality, as well as being a hybrid smartwatch. Of course, you got that traditional watch look, really nice, super slick, but it also has some really cool functionality. You do have the ability to use the different dial knobs to have different functionality, like activate your camera, the second one to play and pause music or switch tracks if you want to. Uh, you also have the ability to, of course, uh, do different things like find the location of, say, your phone or your car using your smartwatch. So those are things that you can actually do with a hybrid smartwatch, giving you two years battery life, and of course, some really slick and smooth designs. So hopefully all these uh, watches are something that you guys can look and pick from this holiday season and say, hey, look, this is a smart watch for me. Be it, of course, the Puma watch for fitness, the Galaxy Active uh, Watch 2, uh, the Apple Watch, the Fitbit, or even a hybrid smart watch to keep you nice, slick, and looking nice. I think there's something for everyone. Now I want to thank my friends, uh, JV Tech T, uh, Issa, as well as of course Jaime from Pocket Now, and, and of course not forgetting Board Fam. Go ahead and check out all their channels. I have the links for you guys down below. Thank them for just joining me and helping me with this video. If you have any questions or any comments, let me know. If you want to find out more about any of the smartwatches, I have links for you guys down below. Thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.